Dr. Lawrence Broder of Belize and Medical Spa, and today we're going to perform a dot therapy laser resurfacing treatment on our patient Sandra here. First, we're going to just look uh, at Sandra's skin and see uh, what uh, she's looking for from this treatment. So, what are you looking for from this treatment, Sandra? Well, I feel like I have a lot of um, you know elasticity problem here. Uh, I've got like the, the skin that's coming up here and. I just kind of want to tighten, tighten that up, mm -hmm. okay? And I just feel like I've lost a lot of the, the collagen here that's actually helping my skin stay firm, so. So Sandra um, just uh, is in her 40s and has some uh, signs of uh, sun damage. She has some roughness. She has some of those lines, lines of expression, like your forehead lines that are starting to etch into her skin because she's losing elasticity. She has some surface pigment irregularities. She has some roughness. These are all signs of sun damage that we all accumulate during our lives. The other thing that happens is our collagen uh, formation turns off as we get older, mostly due to sun uh, damage. And we're looking with this treatment, the dot therapy, to, to re-stimulate it. So basically what we're gonna do with this laser is make millions of uh, little perforations in Sandra's skin. And uh, the point of that is two things. One is to resurface and then the second is to retighten her skin. So approximately three to four days after the treatment, your entire upper layer of skin, the epidermis, will peel off in big sheets. So the roughness, the fine lines, pigment, all that stuff's gonna come off. And you're gonna be left with a new skin that's kind of pink and that will really last about a week and then it'll go away. Um, so that, that alone usually takes about five years off most of our patients' faces. Uh, the other thing we do is not only resurface the skin, but we direct the laser energy into the deeper layer of skin. And the reason we do that is because when you heat up the deeper layer of skin where the collagen is, the collagen is made, uh, it causes the collagen bundles to tighten, to get skin tightening, and induces new collagen formation. That will start three to four weeks after the treatment and um, is more subtle, takes more time, will go on longer, but it's actually the better result. So three to four days, uh, resurfacing new skin and then three to four weeks out the skin tightening starts okay so do you have any questions about that no I'm just anxious no. to see the results okay so uh, we're gonna get started uh, Sandra has had some uh, local an local anesthetic on her uh, app topical applied to her face for approximately an hour and now we've taken that off uh, she's had some light sedation but as you can see we're not going to do any general anesthesia or anything so we're going to get her ready and we're going to um, put some goggles on. Okay, this is the um, dot head and this is where the, uh, you can see it, and it's hard to see, but the laser shows a grid where it um, will cause its uh, pattern. So you can see that. Uh, I'm going to start. Ready, Sandra? Yep. Okay, here we go. I'm going to feel uh, one. I'm going to do one. How'd that feel? Now uh, we're going to start doing that. You can see the pattern already on her skin forming. And we can actually, as we do this, see some skin tightening almost immediately from the uh, initial heating. So the uh, this dot therapy is actually a CO2 laser and uh, it's based on the old CO2 lasers. CO2 laser is pretty much considered the gold standard of uh, resurfacing lasers. The only problem is the old CO2 laser would give you beautiful results, but it would have two weeks of downtime and um, require a lot of times general anesthesia because it was so painful. So the difference with this laser is instead of taking off all the skin like the old CO2 laser, it only takes out little portions where the dots are. You doing all right? Okay. And uh, in between those little dots, it leaves normal skin. So, and the reason that makes it better is because that allows uh, this old skin to stay on as a natural band-aid. So when her new skin is ready, it will uh, peel off. And that prevents her to have to dealing with a open wound. And it also protects her from infection and lessens the chance of scarring. That's all by leaving that old skin on. And then also by not taking all the skin off, you can see we could do this under local anesthesia. So. Doing all right? Okay. No we're gonna, gain, no gain. Okay, and now we're gonna come this way. Okay, and 
lot of pain? Are you alright? I'm scared. Okay. I'm really hurt this time. Okay. You can see we've already done about half of Sandra's nap. Same uh, systematic uh, pattern that we'll do. A little overlap, but basically we're just trying to cover all the skin. The areas where there's wrinkles or deeper lines will go over, and sometimes we'll change the settings, go a little deeper. If she doesn't have any really major wrinkles. Look at Sandra's hands, very similar to her face. It's just the same sun damage, rough skin, pigmentation. You can see the fine lines, loss of elasticity. So any place where you have sun damage, the hands, arms, chest, neck, face, we can do dot therapy. In that. over the knuckles and also some sun damage on the fingers so chase that okay so we finished we did dot therapy of the face neck and hands how was it Sandra. It was good. You know, it's a little painful, but nothing that you can't handle because you know it's going to be good results. You know, you know you're doing something that's going to, you know, about seven days, it's going to give great results. And so the pain, it's not as bad as you would think. And then the numb, the numbness that you mm -hmm. did before, that definitely helped. So, but it wasn't nothing I couldn't handle. Good. And Sandra was a great patient. She, uh, you know, has a good attitude about this. And uh, you can see it was done under a local anesthesia, some, just some local, and some mild uh, sedation. You can see she is uh, the dots of all her skin, her face, her neck, her hands. You can just see from the initial heating and some swelling, she already looks tighter. All this skin is going to come off, all this top layer of skin. She's going to have that new skin in three to four days. And then the heating that we did, that's going to induce the new collagen formation in three to four weeks. And then we'll have some before and after pictures too. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.